Hi there, Jim Harvey again. In the first presentation of the series, I showed you how to create the basis of a PowerPoint Zoom presentation that would allow you to use PowerPoint Zoom like Prezi and create icons that lead you to a particular place in a presentation and take you back to the index slide every time for whatever presentation content you've got. You can do this with all of the benefits of PowerPoint's brilliant design capacity and none of the drawbacks of Prezi's one-dimensional approach. So let's get down to it. The first video I told you how to make a single icon and then link it with Zoom to the piece of content that you wanted to take you through. In this video I'm going to do the job in under 10 minutes so let's get started. So first I need to recreate these icons here by doing exactly what I did in the first video. That means drawing a circle and then formatting that circle to my taste which would be 30% transparent with a white shape outline of six points weight and once I've made one of course I can copy and paste and then three times so I've now got essentially my five icons that I can turn into the images that I want. Don't worry about size and location just yet. So now what I want is four icons match the icons that I used here that I'm going to get again from PowerPoint's resources. I'm going to choose insert icons and then I'm going to choose icons from the business selection that are And then with PowerPoint, you can just simply keep on selecting icons until you've got all of the icons that you want. You can even search in a different part, a different collection. So I'm going to add a chart. I think I've got two charts in here. It is a higgledy-piggledy bullet chart like that. And then the fourth one is in the people section. icons that I insert and while they're all there I might as well select them all and change them into white because all of these icons are editable make them all slightly bigger and then just begin to distribute them one at a time whichever ones they are around the icons that I've got So I've now created, just roughly by eye, I've created my four other icons. And just as I did in the first presentation, I'm going to save each one as a picture. Okay. I'm going to call it A1 just for speed. A1. I'm going to call I'm going to call this one, of course, save as a picture. So I've got each of these icons that I've made saved as a picture and now I can delete these, all of them, from the slide. Because now I can start going straight to put my other Zoom content in. So, what we do is we go to the Insert menu and we choose Zoom and we choose Slide Zoom. And we choose, for each icon, 
the slide or selection of slides that we want to add. And when we use Zoom, if we go to the Zoom menu here, PowerPoint's default is to put an image version of the slide as a clickable element onto the index slide, but you don't have to accept that. We do this. We choose change picture. We choose change picture from a file, and then we choose the icon that we've just created and saved as a picture. And we do that again and again. And when you hover over the the element in the design window, it tells you which slide that it links to. Now there's a little icon here, that return key. There's one thing that we also need to do for each of these slides, each of these links. If you want, at the end of that part of the presentation, to return back to the index page, you have to click the return to zoom box that is here. And so you now see the number on the slide refers to the slide number and also that the zoom is set up when that section is finished to return you to the index slide. That's really important. So I'm now going to do the same thing again for slide six. Remember we have to insert the zoom on the slide. Insert, zoom, slide zoom, slide six. Insert, go to the zoom dialog box. Turn to zoom, change image, choose the file that you want, so that's A2 if I remember correctly. So now we've got A2 there. We do the same thing again, we just do another insert zoom, slide zoom, slide 7 this time, insert zoom menu, return to zoom, change picture from a file A3 insert there you go like magic and then finally insert zoom slide zoom slide eight insert go to the zoom menu return to zoom change picture from a file I think that's going to be slide four sorry picture four in there and there we have it. So now what we have, if we go to present mode, you'll see that we have five clickable icons that will take us to a specific slide in the presentation and when we finish presenting that slide it takes us back to the index slide. And we can do it in any order and we've programmed it to do exactly what we want. Now you'll see that on the index slide, the four new slides, when we put it into present mode, had a white frame around the image. That's simply because the default in PowerPoint is to put a frame around it. So if we just select all four of those elements and we choose no outline from the shape outline dialog box. If we go back to present, we'll now see that we have five beautiful crisp images that work in that way. Once we've done that, if we want to make a change to the slide, so for example, if we wanted to add animation to each of the slides to appear one at a time, as we have done there, or if we wanted this text to appear after the main image, we can do all of those things. Okay, we can edit every element of the presentation after it doesn't affect anything that we've done in the Zoom options at all because we have complete control of what we want to do, which is brilliant. There we go. So remember to save, of course. Let's go back to present mode. This is this, the one that we've created. Now, we might want to, as for the first slide here, what we might want to do is make it a little bit more visually engaging. So we might want to just play around with some of the sizes. Because they're pictures, they are completely scalable. And we can do it by, we can colour code them if we want to. We could change the colour of a particular slide, a particular picture or whatever we want to do. Okay, to make it look a little bit more beautiful. Okay, I'm doing it by eye, all of you designers. Forgive me, you do a far better job of this than me. <coughs> uh, 
and there we have it. And if we want to add extra touches, like we want to have a line, a nice thick white line to connect the boxes, we can do that. And we could format the line to be nice and thick and to make it white. Paste that line again and again if we want to, and we can use the same line by turning it and using it to link boxes on boxes like that. We might want to zoom in a little bit to help us do this kind of thing. Get it right. Okay, change that length a little bit there. So that's beautiful. That's pretty good. Same thing again. Paste it in, take it to here, and then just connect it to there. And then we can do it one last time for the last box here. Do exactly the same thing. And we have got a connected, let's zoom in a little bit there. icons and we have got a PowerPoint zoom that looks good, is completely editable and works and works as a presentation. That is what you can do with the PowerPoint zoom. If you want the presentation file that I've used here to create and to explore and to use, just email me on this email address and I'll be happy to share it with you. Thank you for listening and I'll see you soon at Presentation